Regular steam working through Banbury to the north came to an end in early 1967. To commemorate through working to Birkenhead, 4079 arrives on the Birkenhead Flyer on the 4th of March 1967. On Banbury Shed, towards the end of steam, we find Clun Castle again. Although purchased for preservation, Tysley Shed still used her reasonably often on the 8.25 a.m. Bordsley to Banbury pickup freight. She simmers between duties on this Great Western Shed, which had come under London Midland control in September 1963, and with the withdrawal of Western motive power by 1965, the shed contained standard and Midland types, especially 9Fs and Black 5s. The name and number plates of 7029 have been removed for safekeeping, of course. A resident of Banbury Shed in January 1966 was Black 5 44840. She comes onto the shed just south of the station. Passing the shed northbound, another Banbury resident, 9F9227, and we are on a Castle Hall train north again. We pass the Great Central Line to Woodford Hulse at Banbury Junction, a mile north of the station. Then we approach Fenny Compton, where the Stratford and Midland Junction Railway cross the Great Western on its journey from Stratford to Woodford Hulse. The line is seen climbing alongside the GW main line on the left of this picture, as a hall plods steadily south on its own climb at 1 in 239. The last steam train over the Stratford and Midland Junction route was an SLS special on the 24th of April 1965 and hauled by 4F44188. It is seen approaching Fenny Compton on its return journey from Woodford Hulse. In 1962, King still worked the Birmingham main line. This is 6022 King Edward III on a down express. at Leamington behind 7006 Lidford Castle. The fireman on 7006 walks back for the right away from the guard. With a good head of steam for the climb of Hatton Bank, 7006 departs and the fireman again looks back to check all is well with the train following. At 17 miles out of Snow Hill is Hatton Station. This is at the summit of a climb of four miles, averaging nearly one in a hundred for northbound trains. A king passes the station bound for Wolverhampton in 1962. Coming around the same curve southbound, one of Tysley's manors on a fitted freight passes a northbound DMU. Then to the bank itself, and 5927 Guild Hall whistles a warning. 6022 King Edward III descends with plenty of steam, before King George II ascends with perhaps not so much. Churchwood Mogul ascends with sudden stock, a Saturday's only working from the south coast to Birmingham. Six double nine one Acton Bernal Hall has a class six partially fitted freight pulling steadily up the hill, all quite well on the footplate, on this last quarter of a mile of uphill slogging.
6971 Athelhampton Hall has a slower timed freight on the upline. Scott 46152, the King's Dragoon Guardsman of Hollyhead Depot, working through to North Wales from Banbury with Ironstone, possibly for Brimbo near Wrexham. Saltley's 92082 drifts downhill on the 29th of September 1962. April 1962, a haul is on the last mile of the bank at 1 in 110 with a down train for Birmingham. A local DMU runs down the bank for Warwick. 1962 was the final year for King Haulage on the Birmingham Expresses. One of them climbs with 1M16, the 1.10pm Paddington to Birkenhead train, about to be passed by another up service to Paddington. A collet 280 descends also towards Warwick, with a partially fitted freight, working down the incline with the brake on. But almost full regulator will be applied to this 8F on its Class 8 unfitted iron ore train from Banbury Ironstone Quarries. The evening sun catches this king on a down Wolverhampton service before the Birmingham Pullman passes at about 6.30 p.m. due at Snow Hill at 6.55. A haul on an up service drifts down the hill before Tysley's 5927 Guildhall whistles up for our photographer on a summer Saturday extra. Our last view on Hatton Bank is of a castle on an up parcels working. The down relief line rejoins the down main line at Hatton Station. Another iron ore train pulls steadily forward off the relief and through the station. To the north of the station there was a triangle of lines formed by Hatton North, South and West Junctions. The line to the left of the 8F goes to the West Junction and then Beerley and Stratford upon Avon. A brush type 4 hurries an up service towards Hatton Station from Birmingham past South Junction with a load of 14 coaches. Empty 905 Foy Hall of Banbury Shed is commendably clean running light through the station. She is followed by a prairie tank from Warwick, used for banking purposes on Hatton Bank. The, at Hatton North Junction, the distinctive tapered cab profile of this king makes it out as 6014 King Henry VII, all that was left of the light-hearted attempt by Collett to streamline a king in 1935. A Collett 280 heads from north to south junctions at Hatton. Absolute superpower on an up express hauled by a king and a castle past North Junction. A cat's whiskered embellished DMU from Warwick to Snow Hill. One of only three 9Fs fitted with a Barclay mechanical stoker was 92165. The experiment abandoned in 1961. She heads south on a rake of mixed coal empties.
a castle speeds through for Birmingham Snow Hill before an 8F with fire tender heads south for Hatton Station with a civil engineer's train. Tisley's 6925 Hackness Hall rounds the curve to North Junction with an inter-regional train. At Lapworth, the quadruple section began as far as Alton. Two Castle Hall passenger trains pass Lapworth, the second on an inter-regional Margate to Wolverhampton service. Four miles towards Snow Hill is Alton, 9F92164 at Tisley, storms through on an up freight in 1965, consisting of bridge sections and girders. Traffic that nowadays seems to all go by road, the railways not having any of the specialised wagons for it. Following southbound a brush type 4 on 1V12, the 4.30 p.m. Birkenhead to Paddington. Taking us north now, a class 52 Western on 1M09, the 9.10 a.m. Paddington to Birkenhead. Bordsley, we saw earlier on a DMU journey into Moor Street. In the days of steam, it was a busy place. A black 5, 45493, falls through towards Snow Hill on a hopper train. She is followed by this grange, under the bridge carrying the Midlands Camp Hill route. The WD-280 runs light engine towards the city. Empty stock workings were common to form trains in Snow Hill Station. the Camp Hill line a freight southbound. This ran from Landor Street Junction near Saltley on the Derby line to Kings Norton on the Bristol line. Another Black 5 runs through on a freight towards Tisley. Slow of his train and 10 to 1st, a train of 16 tonne wagons also heads for Tisley. Moving to Snow Hill Station, we find 7816 Frilsham Manor arriving from Stourbridge. She is coupled to a 3,500 gallon tender from a 4300 class mogul, still lettered GWR. For the record, Frilsham Manor is five miles northeast of Newbury in Berkshire. So one two, King Edward the Sixth departs on the last lap to Wolverhampton. Towards the end of steam here, a Black Five would be used as station pilot. On September the twenty second, nineteen sixty six, four five two nine two of Tisley has got the job. Snow Hill, although sporting chocolate and cream name boards, had come under Midland Region control in 1963. 45292 was just one of the 842 Black Fives when she was built by Armstrong Whitworth in 1936. This company was responsible for building over a quarter of the class.
45287 was yet another Tysley engine at this time, and also an Armstrong Whitworth product of 1936. It is shunting a DMU car around the station in the wet. She actually survived to the end of BR Steam in August 1968, being at Rosegrove for her last month. Four eight four double seven braves the elements ten to first with the freight. At least this one was built at Swindon. The Black Fives continue their duties. trying to keep the GWR tradition going at Snow Hill in 1965 are a couple of halls. 7929 Wyke Hall, the last hall to be built in November 1950 to Hawksworth's modified design, has lost all its brass identity to an effort with white paint. And so has 6999 Capel Dewey Hall. A 9F passes towards Tysley Shed. The standards were imposed on the western region, even though footplatemen said they were driven from the wrong side. However, Class 4 75030 is still in black livery, as she never got near Swindon Works for a green one.